Even though everyone searches for listings online these days, uh, it is important, especially in a slower market, to reach out to listing agents of comparable properties uh, or uh, listing agents of uh, deals that are already in contract or even of deals that have recently sold just to give them a heads up that uh, our listing is still available and that we'd be happy to co-broke and work with them if they happen to have a buyer, um, especially if they are already in contract or have sold their units. Uh, you know, we'd be happy to co-broke and work with them. And it certainly helps get the word out, especially for listings such as this one, which has been on the market for a few days. Uh, it's not, um, you know, priced sensationally low, so people aren't climbing all over it. Uh, in which case, it makes the job a bit tougher for us. We, um, you know, we should make, uh, go out of our way to reach out to other listing agents. That's one of the best ways to um, contact uh, other very connected individuals who have come across many buyers on their own listings themselves. So we don't have to use StreetEasy, but uh, StreetEasy, uh, along with a few other sites, do have uh, free comparable reports. So on StreetEasy, you would go down here, you would say generate report, and then what you can do is you should always hit to refine the search. You notice that this one is around 1.4, so, and it's in the Fulton Seaport area. You can certainly keep the location. You might even add financial district. Um, again, this is a matter of uh, knowing the neighborhoods. So perhaps you could add both. Um, for price, if it's something that's 1.4, it's up to you, but uh, I like to say everything under 2 mil. And uh, you, know, you could select beds or bats, uh, you could not for this price range, it might not really matter. Last 90 days is fine, and then uh, you take a look. Again, for this one, just for the uh, sake of uh, you know, simplicity, we've selected condos only. You could, of course, broaden the search by searching for co-ops as well. You can uncheck these, and then you take a look at uh, all of these other listings by other agents that are quite similar to ours and as well as in contract listings. You can even reach out to uh, listing agents of uh, properties that have been taken off the market, perhaps their listing agreement expired. Uh, even if that is the case, these listing agents must have run into a handful of direct buyers um, or have clients of their own who uh, might be interested in our listing. So, you should definitely go through these and reach out to all of the uh, different listing agents. Now, if you uh, want to be most effective, I would recommend reaching out to uh, listing agents who have listings that are closer in range uh, to ours. So in this case, these would be a great fit. Uh, this one might not be as good of a fit just because the buyers coming to their listings may not be able to afford something that's twice as much. So let's do this for example. Let's go to this building next door, 111 Fulton Street. Um, you see it's listed by this agent. Because you are logged into your, uh, your agent account, you won't see these annoying premier agent ads and you'll be able to contact the seller's agent directly. So just send them a note. Now, this is an example of a uh, similar email sent by another agent. Uh, again, there is no absolutely correct format. Uh, you can use your imagination, but please remember to uh, be polite, to invite uh, these other agents to come see your property. Maybe put in a nice uh, word or two about uh, our specific property. Put a, give them a link to be able to click to it. Um, this is just an example. This person is actually sending uh, three listings that are similar to something that we must have, and they're trying to just give us a heads up about it. So, uh, as you can see, they've uh, given links, quick blurbs about each property, uh, and then, you know, of course, they start with a compliment. So, you don't have to follow any specific format, but uh, let's do an example. So this is a sample email that uh, we've written. Um, again, it doesn't have to be this, but the important thing is to uh, keep it upbeat, be friendly, 
um, obviously tell them which property it is, give them a link to the property, uh, and then keep it short and, you know, perhaps ask a question. So in this case, it's, hi, Brian, I hope you're doing well. We noticed that you had a similar listing to ours at this address and tell them a little about about the property. It's a beautiful one bed convertible for two, 1.4 mil. Would you happen to have any buyers for us? And then we reiterate uh, the fact that we're a revenue member firm and we co broke on all of our listings. We'd love to work with you. Uh, and then, of course, you should uh, write your full name uh, as well at the end just so they know who's emailing and if you are um, you know working together on a listing you should CC always your teammates so if it was uh, for example Nikita here he would put the, his email address and he would CC uh, the team his team and uh, and then you want to remember to send me a copy of this this essentially gives you a copy so you know it's actually been sent and then you just simply want to send and that's it one last thing Remember the URL. You don't have to add it there if you feel like it's distracting. Um, you can add it here as well at the end. But just remember to add it somewhere so they can easily click to it. And that's it. And remember to, once you have this template, if you're going to do this quite a few times, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and then Control V to copy, and just do that over and over again.